2.1 Present Simple Form The form is the same for I, we, you, and they. I work from nine to five. They don't work full time. Where do you work? For he, she, and it, we add s or es to the verb, and we use does, doesn't in questions, negatives, and short answers. He lives in Paris. He doesn't work at weekends. Where does she live? Do you live in Bristol? Yes, we do. Does he have a car? No, he doesn't. Use. We use the present simple for habits, actions that happen again and again. For example, I play football on Saturdays. Facts that are always true. For example, my daughter has brown eyes. States, facts that are true for a long time. For example, we live in a flat near the centre of town. Here are some more examples. I work as a lifeguard on Sundays. She doesn't go to school every day. I have four cousins. Seventy-five percent of British households own a car. He works in a bank. Does she live with her parents? Spelling of he, she, and it forms. For most verbs, we add s. For example, want. Wants. Eat. Eats. Help. Helps. For verbs ending in double s, s h, c h, x, or o, we add e s. For example, kiss. Kisses. Wash. Washes. Go, goes. For verbs ending in a consonant and a y, we change the y to i and add es. For example, carry, carries, try, tries, tidy, tidies. For verbs ending in a vowel and a y, we add. S, for example, buy, buys, play, plays, enjoy, enjoys. Two point two. Adverbs of frequency. We often use adverbs of frequency with the present simple to say how often something happens. They go before the main verb in the sentence, but after the verb to be. Peter always arrives late. Peter is always late. We can also use sometimes and usually at the start or the end of a sentence. Sometimes we play cards. We play cards sometimes. Usually, I go shopping with friends. I go shopping with friends usually. Here are some more examples. I always start work at nine o'clock. She's often tired in the evenings. Sometimes we meet in the town centre. 
We meet outside the cinema usually. 2.3 Present continuous Form We make the present continuous with the positive or negative of am, is or are and the ing form of the verb. I'm playing tennis. He's cooking lunch. I'm not enjoying my new job. They aren't working today. What's he doing? Where are you living? Are you going by train? Yes, I am. Is she coming to the party? Yes, she is. Are they playing tennis? No, they aren't. Use We use the present continuous for activities that are happening now. Don't turn the TV off. I'm watching it. Activities that aren't happening right now but are happening around now. I'm doing a French evening class this year. Temporary activities or situations. Peter is a student, but he's working as a waiter during the holidays. Planned future arrangements. We're having lunch with Glenda tomorrow. Here are some more examples. The radio is on, but I'm not listening to it. She's reading a very good book at the moment. We're living with friends until our new house is ready. I'm meeting Rob at one o'clock outside the restaurant. Spelling of verb plus ing. For most verbs, add ing to the base form. For example, go. Going. Wear. Wearing. Eat. Eating. For verbs that end in e, Lose the E and add ing. For example, smoke. Smoking. Come. Coming. Write. Writing. But lie. Lying. For verbs that end in double E, don't drop an E. For example, agree. Agreeing. See. Seeing. For verbs of one syllable that end in one vowel and a consonant, we double the final consonant. For example, stop. Stopping. Run. Running. Get. Getting. But if the final consonant is Y or W, we don't double it. For example, play. Playing. Show. Showing. 2.4 State verbs. Some groups of verbs are usually only used in the present simple. These are state verbs and describe states, not actions. Common state verbs include verbs of thinking and opinions, for example, believe, think, know. He knows the answer.
verbs of emotions and feelings. For example, like, love, hate. I like black coffee. Verbs of having and being. For example, own, have, seem. They own a car. Verbs of the senses. For example, hear, taste, sound. This tastes delicious. We often use can with verbs of the senses when the subject is a person. I can hear someone crying. Can you smell something burning? Some state verbs can be used in the present continuous, but with a change of meaning. In the continuous, the verb expresses an activity, not a state. For example, think. I think you're right. Expresses an opinion, which is a state. So we use the present simple. We're thinking of going to the cinema. Expresses a mental activity, so we use the present continuous. Have. She has a lot of money. Expresses the state of possession, so we use the present simple. She's having a bad day. Expresses an activity, so we use the present continuous. Here are some more examples. The soup tastes awful. I'm tasting the soup to see if it needs more salt. He weighs sixty-five kilos. He's weighing his bag. To see how heavy it is. Two point five, the passive form. We form the passive with the verb to be and the past participle of the main verb. We can form different tenses in the passive by changing the tense of the verb to be. Present simple passive. My car is insured with ASM. Present continuous passive. Are you being served? Past simple passive. Were you taken to visit the cathedral? Present perfect passive. I've been invited to a wedding. Passive infinitive. I'd love to be introduced to a film star. Use. In a passive sentence, the focus moves from the subject to the object of the active sentence. Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in 1601, while he was living in London. Hamlet, the most famous play in English literature. Was written by William Shakespeare. We choose the active or passive depending on what we are most interested in. By and the agent are omitted in passive sentences if the agent is not known. For example, I was burgled last night. Is not important. For example, the bridge was built in 1886. Is obvious. For example, the thieves were arrested last night. The passive is associated with an impersonal, formal style. It is often used in notices and announcements. Customers are requested to refrain from smoking. It has been noticed that some reference books have been removed from the library. In informal language, 
We often use you, we, and they to refer to people in general or to no person in particular. In this way, we can avoid using the passive. You can buy stamps in lots of shops now. They're building a new department store. We speak English in this shop. 2.6 Present simple and present continuous passive. Form We form the present simple passive with am, is, or are and the past participle. All workers are paid monthly. Service is not included in the bill. We form the present continuous passive with am, is or are, then being and the past participle. This road is being widened. Are you being served? Use The uses for the present simple passive and present continuous passive are the same as in the active form. My car is serviced every six months. Computers are used everywhere. Their house is being redecorated at the moment.